Hey, what's up? John Shred here, and today we are talking about the EVGA 3090Ti Ultra for the win. Now, I'd like to unbox it today, compare it size to size against a couple other 3080s I have here, talk about the price, and then slap it into that system and see how it looks. Stay tuned. Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Um, if you haven't been here before, I like to review different cool new gadgets, new technologies. Uh, if you didn't see my, my review on the, on the Ember mug, go, go check it out. So uh, yes, it finally came in. I ordered the new 3090 Ti. Uh, I found it in stock on newegg.ca for $2,800 Canadian. Uh, which if you were to compare it to the EVGA website, which is all in USD, it's about 200, 2,200 USD on the website. Uh, but at the time it wasn't in stock there, but I did the calculation, I'll, I'll put it up here um, to break it down, what it would cost from USD with taxes, shipping and duties to see how it would compare to the $2,800 plus tax, which came out to a whopping $3,200. So, um, let's, let's open this thing up. Uh, all right. <sighs> Standard, cool. Accessories are boring, but there is our three eight pin PCI Express to a single, I think it's 12 pin, we'll, we'll check it out in a bit, adapter. Uh, now I know if you do buy the 390 Ti right from the EVGA website, they do give you an adapter free. I don't know how that's different from this one, but there was a, there was a bundle where you, where you get it included. Uh, here is the e-leash everyone is talking about. Uh, let's let's see how that looks when we, or how it works at all when we toss it into the system. And here is a supporting bracket. It looks like it was the same supporting bracket that was in the 3080, which I also didn't use. Uh, word on the street is that EVGA really reinforced this card. Uh, primarily some feedback and because it's heavy. All right. I think there was an EVGA badge or something that just fell out of the box, but okay. Bag, I mean, nothing special here. Okay, here it is. Uh, you may not realize it, but it's really big. Um, really, really big. Lengthwise, it doesn't look all that different. Uh, but it is a four slot card. It is very, very tall. So here, let me grab an EVGA for the win 3080. Compare the two. So um, here, one on top of the other. Lengthwise, they look pretty much um, identical. Uh, it's just, it's when you get into the width of it, right? Like the card is significantly significant I would say I mean if we were doing a you're looking at a, about a half inch uh, so how it fits inside the case will certainly make a difference uh, the pin connector is different of course because they changed it uh, what else is different the 3090 does have the SLI connector at the top mm. The rest looks pretty darn similar to the 3080. Uh, consider that your pin uh, adapter is at the end. So if you have a case that uh, you're, you're running out of you know, a room on this end, you do need to stick the power connector into the end. So even if you, you bend it and you get it, you're still gonna need maybe an inch. Uh, so something to consider uh, with your case. We'll, uh, when we toss it in my Fantex uh, P500, 
but we can find out exactly how much room it should have. That's a pretty monstrous case. It should be a okay. So, okay, let's uh, let's grab a couple of the cards just to see. So we know, I mean, from an EVGA to a for the win, for the win perspective, uh, very very similar here. So now this is an MSI Gaming Z Trio 3080. I have far too many 3080s, uh, and still to this day, I still think the 3080 is your best bang for your buck. Uh, assuming you're not using uh, professional stuff, which we'll get into a later video about the performance of the 39Ti and what makes it uh, so special. So uh, looking at this, yes, you can definitely see the distance. The, the MSI is about an inch longer uh, than, than the 39Ti. Now considering that the power adapter has to be in the end, it's probably gonna be the same deal. Um, as far as thicknesses, uh, uh, oh yeah, it's significantly thicker. The same thing. I, I would say I would say the um, about a half inch that the thickness of the card of the MSI Gaming is, is very similar to um, the EVGA for the Win 3080. Okay, now give me a moment and I'll grab my Strix 3080 from my system. Okay, now, as expected, the Strix is a big card. It always has been, and, and the thermals uh, prove it to be some of the best. Uh, definitely definitely up on par to, to the For the Win 3. Um, Lengthwise, it is definitely even longer than the, um, the MSI here. Let's get all three cards here together. Yeah, it's about the same, actually. But th and thickness-wise, the Strix is, is some of the things. So, I mean, I guess that really comes down to the, you know, three, three card uh, slot, two and a half, three card slot versus, versus a four card slot. I mean, just considering if you are getting one of these, I mean, lengthwise, you're pretty good. It's really just the, that height. If you're running a single card, it shouldn't be a problem. So, okay, let's get rid of these cards. Okay, um... Let's grab the case and we'll, we'll toss it inside the case and uh, and see how it looks. But before we do that, It's actually really, really stable. Um, okay, let's get this power adapter. Yes, it is. Uh, it is twelve. Twelve pin. Okay, let's get that. Actually, so I mean, it went in there fine. I don't know if you can see the hinge on here um, but but it's a 12 pin interesting enough is that I'll take some some b-roll afterwards of the plug itself the plug itself is the new PCI Express 5 which has the special extra 4 pin that this does not use so if I had a new PCI Express 5 power supply it would uh, it would allow me to use it directly without having to have this adapter. Okay, so now we have three connectors. Let's get these hooked up. And three. Okay, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a spider web here. We can. With the extender, it can actually hide those quite well underneath here, so it actually doesn't look too, too bad. 
retention bracket. I'm not going to worry about that. It actually feels really good. Let's turn it up onto its side. Okay. So here's the uh, the free e leash. Comes uh, with the e-leash itself, along with a chassis attach and fan attach. Huh. Okay. Okay. Cool. I guess. I mean, it's great they gave you a couple different different options. Uh, let's let's try this out and see if it's any good, and then we will fire it up and enter it on. Okay, it looks like this little guy is the fan attach, which I'm not going to use. Let's do the chassis attach. There are zero instructions, but they do have a QR code. Um, so, both my phones are being used right now, so that is a problem. Let's see here. More plastic. Oh, that side isn't the right side, so let's see. Okay, so it's definitely this side. And then it hooks onto here. This goes into the I have no idea where this mounts. No idea. It almost looks, it's kind of, I don't even know if that's gonna focus. Yeah, it has like a little, yeah, a T, right? And so I, I suppose that's supposed to go into something, into a, like a screw hole or something, no, into like, I have no idea where that goes. Uh, okay, back to the fan option. If I were to go straight up in here, I could probably hook it into the uh, the bottom of this uh, Arctic 2 freezer AIO. Um, I have to take out one of the screws. <sighs> In theory, okay, so I'll show you this up close. It's it's more of a, uh, come on, camera, there we go. It's kind of, it has a hole where your screw would go through and then a, uh, that's my face. There, kind of like a clippy hole thing. So anyway, put the screw from this through here, hang it down, clip it in, this is just nothing too crazy hard. That's in as far as she's gonna go. I'll put it in the wrong screw. Oh, they give you a longer one, so because that makes sense. The the original one uh, wouldn't have uh, the depth, so they give you they gave you a screw. So use it. Okay. Uh, this here is still tied. Let's clip it into the card. It's clipped. Let's clip it into the clippy thing. Great. Now, how do you tighten it? There you go. Tight like this. Yeah. You can see. You can see the wiggle in the car. As I, as I went, so I pull it up and then. Tighten it. <laughs> it's doing nothing. It's doing nothing. Pull it up. Pull it up. Okay, you really 
have to hold it and then screw it. And then it doesn't, it doesn't hold. Huh? Time for the README. Okay, officially the worst instructions. Uh, they pretty much say uh, connected here, connected to a point, and tighten this to support your card. It doesn't really say how. There is a, a screw in the end here, and it definitely, you can feel it tighten and loosen, but I want, oh, maybe you pull the whole thing up. Hold on, let's try this. It, okay, so instead of unscrewing the little thing here, keep that tight. You, you lift and pull, and there's like a little thing. Anyway, not super intuitive. Still don't know if it's doing actually anything, but okay, it is in. Let me get a power cable. Let's turn this thing on. Um, it, it is it is pretty solid though. So here we go. Yeah. So I mean, it, it looks pretty much like every other for the wind three card, but it does say. 3090 Ti. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. I, uh, I will have a follow-up video that will, uh, I'd like to really look at how the performance is, specifically in workstation situations. We know when it comes to gaming, I mean, it's a bit overkill, definitely for the price, but how does it work in, in Premiere Pro, in, in Photoshop, things like, things like that. Uh, and then last but not least, you guys know I love mining, so I wanna better understand if this card uh, can essentially replace two 3080 light hash rates, which average about 135, 140 mega hash at 450 to 500 uh, watts, right? Can this one card be just as good as two of those? Stay tuned, please, if you like this content, hit the like button and subscribe. I will see you next time. Thanks.